Welcome to Finding Completion. This series is exploring my time in-game as a maxed RuneScape player. For me, getting max stats meant changing my goals totally as a player. I was no longer chasing 99s. I'm finding enjoyment in other aspects of the game. Boss collection logs, clue scrolls, virtual level 120 skills, achievements, and rune score. The beauty about this game is carving out an adventure for yourself regardless of if that adventure is of value to other players. Why don't you come join me on my adventure as I find completion? Ladies, gentlemen, everybody in between, welcome to today's episode of Finding Completion. We're on episode 22, and we're not going to waste any time with anything. We're going to start with a Reaper task. I have to do Dagonoth Kings. So I have DKs as my Reaper task. Um, I would ultimately like to complete the log for these guys, but that's not something that I'm necessarily focusing on right this second. Here's what the log looks like. So I just don't have an archer's ring. And um, hey, look, there we go. Uh, 1,200 kills. Um, I don't have an archer's ring yet. Um, I do have everything else except for the pets. All right, this Reaper task, 257 assignments complete and um, 12 Reaper points. So I wish I would have brought a gem with me to get another task, but I'm just going to finish this up and then I'll grab another task once I'm back out. Hey, very nice. Berserker ring. I will take it. All right, this Rex, I think, is the last one. Six kills shy of 1,400. I think I got over 200 KC that hour. Something along those lines. I also got three dragon hatchets <laughs> that run, which is kind of interesting. Honestly, the EKs are pretty good for money making. I think I made like 11 mil off of that hour. It's way better than like most God Wars 1 bosses. And task, we get to pick. So where is my friend? Raksha. So eight souls from Raksha. Um, I would very much appreciate a codex drop from him so I can get Magma Tempest. All right, so we're at 24,655 rune score. It's the same as the ending of last episode. I haven't gotten anything new. You could see why they recently completed here. It's all still the same. One of the goals that I want to set myself for this episode is I actually want to complete the God Wars 1 drop logs. Zilliana is complete. We could see here. This one's fully done. Um, I got, I was, I was lucky enough to get the pet sub 100 hard mode, so I just had to finish it out in uh, in normal. Cree, I'm just missing the pet. This is what hard mode is looking like. Um, Because I just need pet, I'm not going to worry about normal mode. I'm just going to do hard mode for pet. Krill is done. Uh, This is what that looks like. Kill count here. And then Grador. Now, this is the boss that I'm going to be focusing on first, because... I still need two items, so I need the tacits and gloves, and I need pet. I'm also almost at 1k hard mode kill count, and I haven't gotten the pet yet. So I'll hit threshold once I hit 1k, Um, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. For those of you that are curious, this is what the setup looks like, and it's just the PVME AFK hard mode Grador setup. Um, This does use a Hellhound, so you do need to have the Hellhound either scrolls or, um, what is it, the... the Prism of Drowsing? Prism of Restoration, uh, in order to actually heal the Hellhound up. Honestly, I can't wait to be done with this because I am so tired of doing Grador. The money here is god-awful, and I just want to be done with the log. Not that I'm expecting the money to be good. I just want to be done. All right, and there's 1,000 General Grador hard mode kills. So no pet as of yet, but I'm pretty sure that means that I hit the first threshold. I think the pet thresholds in hard mode are every 1,000 kills. I should get it soon enough. I mean, I'm pretty sure the drop rate is 1 in 1k to begin with, so it's not like it's that rare. I say that hopefully not jinxing myself. 11 minutes left of the instance. Let's see if we can get lucky and uh, get it before we're done here. All right, that hour's down, and uh, I don't got anything. So let's collect ourselves and go again, I guess. All right, here's the skinny. So before I go in for this next hour, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a wilderness event. Main reason being is, where is it? It's right here, the last walk on the wild side that I need to do. This will be my 250th uh, wilderness event. I really only do the special ones, and this one is the Infernal Star. So maybe I'll get a, uh, maybe I'll get a Dark Onyx Core. I don't know. We'll see. I have gotten one of them, and I sold it for like 1.1 bill. I know they're not that expensive anymore, but I mean, money's money, so we'll see what's up. 
Well, I accidentally missed it, um, but you can see in the chat box there that, uh, that I got it. I forgot that some of the, the special events count as multiple, so that's why I, I didn't get it. So might be on that, but yeah, there we go. 250 wilderness events complete. I will see you in a minute or two to open up this uh, reward bag. Okay, and ranged and unchecked dragon egg. Nothing exciting. All right, so I think before reset happens, I'm going to try and get this, uh, this Rapture Reaper out of the way. It's eight kills, so it's going to take me more than the 30 minutes that my aura has, but I should still be able to do it before reset to get a new task. So here we go. Here comes the Gricko. Told you. Yo! All right, this is going to be the last kill of this instance. There we go. Time to get out of here. So that was currently the fourth hour since I've started this video. And if we take a look, 1,227 hard mode kills currently. In the past four hours, I literally have gotten, I think, two War Priest pieces and a chest plate. <laughs> so I, I've probably lost money in the past couple hours, but uh, so is Bandos. So here's to hoping hour five will be the lucky one. All right, I think before doing any more Bandos, we're going to go do Carol's Pack for a little while to do this Reaper task, get it out of the way. I haven't done Care Pack in a pretty long time, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, see how this goes. 75 Care Pack kills and a new personal record of two minutes, nine seconds. Very cool. Let's fucking keep going. All right, here's the last kill. Surely this will be an undeserved pet, am I right? Damn, I could have been so sure. All right, I kept everything in my inventory that I got from doing an hour of carry. Eight mil in an hour. That's really not bad. I'm I'm not going to get rid of those, though. I'm going to keep them. And actually, let me, let me open up my troves. L what's it look like now? 9.6 mil. For one hour, that's really not bad. Um, And that's... That's just a normal mode too, so that's pretty good. I didn't even do a full hour. I probably could have gotten like another two kills or so. Maybe three kills. I'm not really sure. But um I finished the Reaper. I don't feel like retuning any of my portals. So plus I could really use the money anyway, because uh right here, I got myself a nice Magma Tempest ability codex. And um that was uh 780 mil. So it was a it was a it was a few GP. I got a new Reaper Tath. I got Dag Kings again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them or if I'm gonna go back to Bandos. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling in a bit. Oh, I got a pair of Bandos gloves. So I mean that's uh not bad because it's part of the drop log now. I only need the tacits and the pet. Um, I'm on hour six of farming Bandos so far, and at this point. The changes to Animate Dead have come out, which means this is significantly more annoying to do uh, because you take a lot of typeless damage during this fight on hard mode. I'm just hoping to God that I get the pet soon so I could leave. Um, you have to pay a lot more attention than you did before. It's not impossible to do, but for example, like this right here, um, you take a lot of typeless damage and. Hey, Bandos Hill. Oh, that's cool. Back to back. Back-to-back -back drops. Not worth shit, but, you know, something, I guess. But yeah, so here's to the rest of hour six. Maybe we'll get lucky with a pet. We'll see. There we go. Finally. Decaying Tooth at 1,751 kills. I've killed 1,384 Grador in hard mode. Wow. This has taken a long ass time. All right, I'm just going to finish out this instance because I still need tacits anyway. So I'm not totally done with drop log. I still need to get tacits. So I'm going to have to do um, normal mode for a bit. I'm hoping that I'll get them pretty quickly. I believe we're seven hours in at this point since uh, I've given myself this task at the start of the video. And I don't exactly know how many hours I've done of Bandos total because I hit 1k kill count. And I'm almost at 1,400, so yeah, not quite sure. I think I get around 50 kills an hour or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's finish up this hour before we move on to anything else. There we go. Decaying Tooth. Bando's Pet. So looking at the collection, I literally just need the tacits. I've gotten seven BCPs somehow, but uh, no pairs of tacits. So 
I'm going to have to do some normal mode and uh, hopefully get them there. After several hours of work, I am finally done. General Grador, collection challenge, one Bandos Tacits, and we just have the pet to claim. So I also need to do uh, Kree. As I had stated before, I want to do that. I still need the pet. Psych, I fucking pranked your ass. I have the pet right here. I don't know when I got it. Here's a screenshot if I have it. I don't remember if I do or not. But I've got, I got the Kree pet a little while ago, and I've just been hanging on to it. Um, I needed to get the Bandos pet to finish things off. So why don't we go ahead, without further ado, inspect Decaying Tooth, inspect the Light Feather, and we have both pets unlocked. Which now allows me to say that I have every drop log for the God Wars Dungeon 1 bosses. Kekara completed and General Ador completed. There we go. So Commander Ziliana, drop log completed. General Grador, drop log completed. Kriara, drop log completed. And Kirill, drop log completed. So I'm not exactly sure what boss I'm going to go for next. I do need some money because I'm running pretty slim on funds right now. I have 60 mil and I spent a lot of money on the uh, the Magma Tempest ability codex. So not very cool. I still need to zuck myself a little bit more to get this log completed. But yeah, so I've been playing the game not as actively. I'm not sure when I'll end up going back. Anyways, two boss pets in this episode, two drop logs completed, and uh, I'm super excited about that. I don't have to go back to God Wars 1. I can actually maybe do something that will make me some sort of money, which is cool. I may do Twin Furies. I think you can AFK the Twin Furies, and they're my last drop log that I need for God Wars 2. So maybe I'll go there. I'm not totally sure yet, though. Um, it's an option. Probably be better than Bandos to make money, that's for damn sure. But, you know, we'll see. Well, I wasn't recording because I didn't think I would need to. But, uh, yeah, Nomura's Braid at 373 kills. So here's probably going 2k dry on the one for Avarice, but the main annoying thing about this is with the animate dead changes, this is a really annoying method. You kind of have to be paying somewhat attention. Um, this isn't really like AFK AFK because you can die very easily from the fire at the end. Anyways, um, maybe I'll see you back on the next boss pet. I don't know. We'll see. All right, folks, let's go ahead, grab that Nomura's Braid, and there we go, Nylesa unlocked, and we get the achievement for that. So very cool. Here's what the log looks like, uh, just missing the one pet and then the two blades. So, you know, in given time, I will eventually unlock those. Now, it's actually been a bit since I recorded, but I did get this thing right here. The Incomdo Hatchet. I did record uh, this progress and setting up the grove and everything, um, but it wasn't super riveting. It was woodcutting. It was slow. Just in case anybody is wondering, here is the Tier 3 Grove, and it's right off the east side of the fort. Um, you can build this little side gate to get through there. Um, has a fairy ring, has a tree patch, and then an elder tree over down here. And something to note if you didn't know, you can talk to Oak after you build the Tier 3 cabin, and he will give you a just free Incomdo piece. If you have three out of the four pieces like I did, and you were just spending hours on getting the, the last piece, you could talk to your friendly neighborhood Oak over here and he'll actually give you the last piece. I my, One of my friends let me know. I didn't even realize that was a thing. I think it took around eight to 10 hours to actually get the hatchet here. So it did take a little bit of time. I mainly just cut elder trees the entire time. I just did rotations of elder trees and occasionally I went and, and chopped the ivy as well. But Mainly it was the elder trees that I did. And now I have this uh, as well as a crystal hatchet still to combine to make the tier 91 um, when and if that comes out. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Zuck run. That's because I have a Reaper task of Jad. I have to do, I think, two Jads. Yeah, two Jads. It's been a little while since I've Zucked myself and... I haven't done it since the Animate Dead changes, so I'm really curious to see how this is actually going to go. Um, I'm going to do it on hard mode, and I will probably die. Well, that didn't go well. Um... <laughs>
piece of shit. And there is 200 mil in Constitution. I didn't even realize I was that close, but apparently that went off. So, very cool. Another 200 mil, shiny, sparkly blue icon there, and I'm trying to pay attention so I don't fucking die. HP and then we're all set. There we go. And nothing! Very cool! So there's definitely more use of food now that Animate Dead has been uh, has been changed, but um it's still it's still fine. I was also a bit rusty, so that doesn't help. As for loot, just about 10 mil. Um, is what that run was. Not terrible, but uh, that was 15 kills now for me. So 15 hard mode kills is what I'm at currently. I don't think that run was tracked. Doesn't look like it. So definitely was longer than uh, what my previous run was. I'm not sure how long that took. And I gotta say, I'm glad I got my blessed flask specifically for this. <laughs> um, this Zuck specifically is wonderful to have the uh, the blessed flask. Now that I have 200 mil constitution, we're going to celebrate with a wonderful special wilderness event. We got the evil tree going on in a couple minutes here. And I did complete all 250 wilderness events for the achievement. Now I'm just doing it to try and hopefully get a Dark Onyx core to make a little bit of money. Now I know they adjusted the drop rate of the Dark Onyx core, but I have no idea how much more common it is or even what the price of that thing is at this point. But I do only have 100 mil at the moment and I do want to make some Elder Overload salves because Necromancy at this point in time has been released for August 7th. That's when they said the release date is going to be. So at the time I'm recording this, it's more than a month away, but they have stated that necromancy potions are going to be required for overloads after necromancy releases. So I want to make the overloads that I have in my bank into elder salves. So I don't have to worry about that. I think I'm it's close to like 700 or so that I want to make. So it's going to be a decent amount of money in order to actually make all of them. All right, event is done. And did we get? No, we didn't get shit. Okay, I was about to record for something totally unrelated to this. But uh, in achievements, we look here. I, I missed it, but um, I completed the branch at a time breeding log. So the Corbicula Rex was the last breed that I needed to get. And I finished that with uh, the shiny once I got here. So completed the entirety of the breeding log. So looking at um, my skills achievements, the last thing that I have is actually Manor Farm for adopting a baby yak. So I may just do that to get that out of the way so it's not in the menu anymore. 
Um, that would just be going to like neat to not and killing, um, killing the yaks there until I get an unchecked yak. But the thing that I actually wanted to record for, so under exploration, I think, and then Prif. Yeah, so obtain the Raven Sworn title by spotting 13 Ravens in Prif. As you can see, I'm 12 out of 13, and today at reset, one is spawning. That's what I want to do. I want to go get the last Raven that I need in order to get the title. Since it's a couple minutes till reset quick, I wanted to just shout out too that I am working on making 600 overloads, Elder Overload salves more specifically. With Necromancy coming up, having an official release date, them saying that overloads made previous to Necromancy's release don't require the Necromancy potion, I'm making 600 of them. I wish I could make more, but I only have 75 mil and I still need other things to prep like bones. As is, I made a lot of these potions myself. Um, the supers I didn't and I had a bunch of prayer renewals still, but the anti-poisons, the anti-fires, and then uh, both anti-fires and then the prayer potions I made myself. I luckily had a lot of the secondaries for them. And um, with how quickly you can get herbs from farming now, I just farmed a, a whole bunch of different herbs, especially the Lantha Dimes, because they were kind of expensive. And this stuff isn't even selling like 17K. This was more like 25K or so what these were actually buying for. So the price that you see here is likely, my guess is at least 20 mil higher than it actually says because of how high... Uh, and how inflated the prices are on some of these potions. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. I'm also hoarding any of the bones that I get as well. There are probably going to be some that I'm missing that I'm going to have to get, but that's okay. But other than that, I'm probably going to have to just grab some perks to put on my gear. And, and then I should be okay as far as like preparation goes for things. I may go to God Wars 1 and try and get just some subjugation because I'm sure that that's expensive right now too. But other than that, I think I'm going to be good to go. Anyway, let's uh, wait a couple more minutes for reset and then we'll find our last raven hey there we go bot raven and raven's worn obtain all 13 ravens very cool so i don't have to set a timer on my phone now <laughs> for every time it spawns now just sort of crystally left for unlocking these three titles i don't really know how you get each of them um that may be something to do in the future but as of right now that's the last one left because raven's worn is gone Versus drip. This is just a regular guy now. Okay, so dead and buried came out. This is gonna be what we finished today's video off with. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the quest. I did lose my comp cape, so um, getting comp cape back is kind of where I would like to end things, which shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, Rangers workroom tier one. Go ahead and get that built and uh, brand new building added to the fort here. All right, Ranger station is built. Got to search the spooky holes. All right, got our materials. Let's build a bridge. Oh, that's interesting. You'd like switch to the raptor for this. All right. One side. Or, never mind. Let's get a D20. Always nice when you get to stop by and talk with Reldo. Bro zonked out. Man's taking a hong shu, hong shu. A man's fighting his demons. Oh, the raptor's a lady. Poor calf. Damn, bro, we getting Vorkath on RS3? I can Vorkath Necromancy. Vorkath Necromancy boss confirmed. Okay, I, I, I cannot deal with sliding puzzles. Accessibility mode on. Oh my fucking god, finally. Holy shit, fuck sliding puzzles. Holy... Oh my god. It took me 25 minutes to fully solve this puzzle. It, it literally took like twice as long to do this puzzle than every other step up to this point. It, it's, uh, I can't, I can't with the sliding puzzles. I hate it. Found a new island in the uh, Fremnik region called Ungale. Their Vorkath is there. We'll see. And there we go. Dead and buried complete. All right, so Quest Cave is back now. All that's left, I got to build this up to tier three, and then I got to do some fletching. All right, tier two is built. All right, four to my own, tier three done. Okay, now you can see down in the text box here, um, I have to unlock the Wisdom of Animal perk for at least one of these arrows. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, there we go, Completionist Cape re-unlocked. 
to block the achievement, but yeah, so Minor Wisdom, Earn Wisdom of Anima, Fletching Perk on one of the Elder God Arrow types. I'll do the last 500 sets on full arrows, and then I'll still have the Joss and when arrows left. That'll be in the future when I can get more Din arrows for not like 7, 8k a piece, or however much they're going for, I'm not really sure. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. This one has been a pretty long process, to be honest. It's been a couple of weeks that I've been recording. With that being said, um, we're in the middle of July now, and with Necromancy coming out the 7th of August, you will probably see me uh, when Necromancy is released. From now until then, I kind of just plan on getting some supplies ready and getting myself sorted and, and ready to, to hit the ground running with Necromancy so I'm not kind of backtracking to have to get stuff. So that means getting some subjugation and getting some perks for my gear and things along those lines. Probably going to get some more bones too. Nothing crazy, just a few hundred of each type probably. What I would love to do is try and get 120 woodcutting before then. I have 7.8 mil left, so uh, depending on how much I actually do, that may or may not happen, so we'll see. And to finish things off, ending today at 24,770 rune score. Now that I haven't been going for achievements as hardcore, it's, it's slowed down a little bit, but I may get back into that grind soon enough. So if you like today's video, please leave a like. It lets me know that you enjoyed and it helps out with the algorithm and helps the video get recommended to other people who might enjoy as well. I will see you in the next one post-necromancy release. Later.